Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in HCL Technologies. The candidate had two years of experience working as a Java developer and the CPC which she got after selection was 7 LPA, 7 lakhs per annum. He was asked to write a Java program to swap two strings without using temporary variable. Okay, so you can consider this as an input. So we have to take two strings. String one is cloud and you can take string two as a tag. Okay, these are the strings are uh, before swapping and after swapping string one should become or it should hold tech and string two should hold cloud as well. Okay, to implement this, uh, let me start writing the program. So here you can see I have declared a class swap two strings without using temp and inside that I have written a main method which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now let me declare two variables which will hold these two strings. So string str1 is equal to cloud and string str2 is equal to tech. I have declared both variables. Now I will try to print the values of these variables before swapping. So I will write this out first string before swap is str1. Same way I will copy this and I will print the value of second variable that is str2. Second sub second string before swap. Now let me write the logic to swap this two string. Okay, so what I will do, I will do first thing. I will add these two strings and store a result into one of the string. So what I will do is str1 plus str2, and I will store this result into first string. Str1 is equal to str1 plus str2. So what will happen this str1 becomes cloud tech after addition the cloud and tech will be concatenated and the result will be stored into str1 after this what i will do i will try to extract string true from this cloud tech okay so in this variable i need cloud because i have to swap so for string 2 i will extract only cloud from this string. For that, I will use substring function. Okay, so here I will write str2 is equal to str1 dot substring. This accepts two parameters. One is begin index. So I will mention begin index as zero because I want cloud, which is starting at zeroth index in str1 and end index. I will calculate the end index as str1 dot length minus str2 dot length so that will be my end index so if you see str1 dot length it is almost seven to eight characters or it is nine characters nine minus str2 str2 is four so the end index will be five and this will give me cloud string okay now my str2 is holding cloud but str1 is still holding cloud tech it should be only tech for that again what i will do i will try to extract tech as a substring from this str1 so str1 is equal to str1 dot substring and i will simply mention the begin index because tech is at the end of this string so i need to mention only beginning index and i will get my substring so I will mention str2 dot length because str2 is now holding cloud. So I will get string after this cloud from this index. Okay, now let me print the values after swapping and see what is the output. So here you can see first string after swap and second string after swap. Let me run this program and see what is coming as output. So you can see first string before swap that is cloud. Second string before swap that is stack. First string after swap it is stack. And now second string after swap is cloud. So we have swapped this string successfully. And that's it from this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.